Hey you guys, Erin and Liv here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. So being that we have lived in our new Florida home for a little over a month and a half, we've settled in and we are gonna give you guys a fridge and pantry tour, pretty much just a kitchen tour in general. We're gonna show you our bulk that we keep on hand and it's also the height of summer, which means there are so many fruits and vegetables in season right now that we absolutely love. We went and picked mangoes on a mango farm, which was basically heaven on earth. We found a little mom and pop organic shop. We're looking for some farmer's markets. We haven't been to one yet. Being that we live in a pretty new development, we are surrounded by forest and it is quite a trek to get to any of our usual grocery store stops like Whole Foods, it's an hour away. Thankfully, Thrive Market has come to the rescue for us and we've been able to find so many of our favorites online and they show up at our doorstep. So if you're not familiar with Thrive Market, it is a one-stop shop for all of your grocery needs. So we got our first Thrive Market haul to our new house the other day. We can cut to that clip and show you guys everything that we got. We just got home from a day at the beach and Thrive Market was at our doorstep. Being that we've kind of struggled to have access to everything we're used to eating between running to different grocery stores, it was super exciting to sign back up for Thrive Market, to have everything in one place again and to not have to leave the house. And the best part is they offer amazing discounts. And the coolest thing I love about the website is you can get on and you can filter out exactly what kind of products you're looking for. So I filtered USDA organic and vegan. You can also do gluten-free, non-GMO, all kinds of amazing options to get exactly what you're looking for. So some of my favorite things I'm excited to check out are the sprouted grains. I was able to find sprouted steel cut oats, sprouted quinoa, sprouted brown rice. Thrive Market had a lot of those things I hadn't seen anywhere before. We got some new nut butters to try. I'm super excited because Max is all about the cashew butter. So we're gonna try a few different ones that we've never seen before, like the walnut and cashew butter, which is like super, super good for you because it's high in omega-3s. I could go on and on. I got a ton of great specialty items for food styling, for working on our new book, for things like lasagna and spaghetti and mac and cheese and amazing smoothie bowls. A big thank you goes out to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. The best part is if you guys are interested in trying Thrive Market for yourselves, you can click the link below in the description. You can get 30% off your first order and a free gift up to $50. First and foremost, before I show you guys the refrigerator and the pantry, let me just point out we have a ton of fresh local Florida fruit lining our countertops. So we just went to the mango factory and did some mango picking and got a full-blown tour of their organic farm. We'll have more on that in another video, but check these mangoes out. There are so many varieties, countless. There's Tommy mangoes, there's apple mangoes, Valencia pride. There are so many and they have been such a blessing. We love mango. A couple of other things that are always out on the countertop are a bowl of some sort of beans soaking for dinner time, some type of baked goods that are left over from breakfast that we also take with us on the go, and some type of berries or fruit getting ready to be rinsed and prepped and chopped again for on the go because today we're going to the beach. Moving on to the refrigerator, top shelf, I always keep an ample supply of fresh berries on hand as well as fresh grapes and cherries are in season, which I love right now. There's also applesauce in there. We also like to keep kiwis on hand and ripe pineapple. Once it's ripe, if we're not ready to cut into it, I recommend storing it in the refrigerator as well. Here in Florida, it is ridiculously hot and muggy and it can cause your greens to wilt almost in an instant on the drive home from the store even. So we do keep everything in plastic once it hits the refrigerator because we find that it keeps things fresh and crisp the longest. So if you are like us, you can just opt to use the plastic bags, rinse them when needed, and take them to the store with you. So they're perfectly fine to reuse. It's the best thing to keep them fresh in the fridge. The second shelf down is where I like to keep my salad ingredients. So fresh bell peppers, red cabbage, arugula, spinach, fresh romaine, avocados. This is another trick. Once they ripen on your countertop, pop them in the refrigerator and that will stop the ripening so they will remain at their current state of ripeness and they'll be perfect for days to come. We are also hummus fanatics, so we keep a couple of big tubs of hummus on hand. Again, that's great to take to the beach with carrots. Sauerkraut, me and Max are huge fans of sauerkraut on our salads. 
and then also some tofu, which we like to bake for dinner time. The next shelf down has greens that are a little bit more fresh that I'm going to eat after the middle shelf is gone. I also keep cauliflower and broccoli, some tortillas in there that stay fresh a little bit longer because the organic ones do tend to go bad if they're not refrigerated. And then after that, we've got our two drawers. So I keep one drawer for greens and one drawer for fruits. The fruit drawer has things like lemons and limes, Granny Smith apples and Honeycrisp apples. We love Granny Smiths in our smoothies. We love taking Honeycrisp on the go to the beach. And then the greens drawer is what I use for our juices and smoothies. So I typically keep a ton of dino kale on hand for our green smoothies, as well as curly kale, which we like to tear up and put in our soups and stews and collard greens. They're great for wraps, and I also like to add those into our smoothies as well. We also keep cucumbers in that drawer so they stay nice and crisp for slicing, juicing, or blending. Bottom drawer is carrots and celery, green onions, radishes. Again, more things that we like to not just make in soups and stews, but top our salads with. We also have ginger and turmeric root in abundance for putting through the juicer and taking our beloved ginger turmeric shots and adding to our curries and soups. While these are shelf stable, I do like to keep them refrigerated. They just stay fresher longer. So I've got things like our B12, D3, omegas, magnesium, our liquid complement, elderberry syrup, and some silver strength from Sun Warrior. And then we've got our spirulina, hemp seeds, Brazil nuts. Again, these are for smoothies. We've got some dulse flakes for iodine and chia and flax. These are our go-tos, whether it's for smoothies or baked goods because they're the best source of omega-3s. On this side, we've got some nut butters and tahini, as well as some curry paste, jam, salsa, unfortified nutritional yeast. This one is MSG free. Sorry Foods is the brand. We keep lots of carbonated water for on the go, as well as coconut water. It's super refreshing on these hot, sweaty days. Plain, unsweetened soy milk, USDA organic. And then we've got more supplements. We've got our liquid light, vitamin and mineral rush, on the go smoothie packs, coconut aminos for topping salads. And we also like to put this on our baked tofu, apple cider vinegar. We've got some taco sauce. The kids love that. Ketchup. And that about covers the refrigerator. And the freezer, honestly, is just frozen fruit and frozen veg. We have tons and tons of frozen bananas for smoothies, and we will soon have tons of frozen mangoes, I'm sure, because there is almost too many fresh to eat before they go bad. So anytime a fruit or veggie is on its last leg, if we're not gonna eat it, we rinse it, we dry it, and we freeze it. Go-tos for smoothies other than the bananas are every variety of berries, We've got cherries, not just for smoothies, but for our baked oats. We've also got acai and pitaya for bowls. And then veggies, we primarily have sweet corn, sweet peas, and a few veggie blends, and that's about it. Over here by the stove top, we've got our spice cabinet, and we also keep our smoothie goods, so all of our protein powders and other Sun Warrior supplements right in here. So almost all of our dry goods fit in this cabinet right here. This is kind of a work in progress. It's fairly organized, but go easy on us. So way up high, we have tons of superfood powders that we use from time to time. Second shelf is more superfoods. A lot of these are like our smoothie bowl toppings like goji berries and mulberries, all kinds of dried fruits. And then we've also got some of our dark chocolate stash and bars we like to take with us on the go. This shelf is key. This is where you get a lot of your budget-friendly bulk items that pretty much fill you up, keep you fueled on a plant-based diet. So this is a shelf we reach for a lot. We've got our oats, our grains, our beans, so the ones we use the most will be our rolled oats for breakfast as well as for baked goods. We use our red lentils pretty frequently for dinnertime soups and stews and curries. Quinoa for a great lunch ingredient and like I said, tons of beans as well. So we got a lot of our snacky foods here on this shelf. Things like nut and seed butters, some crunchy chickpea snacks, healthy crackers, some dates, which are my personal favorite to snack on. In the far back, I have things that I use for baking like flowers and coconut sugar. 
And then below that, I have tons of pastas, as well as sweet potatoes, sweet onions, regular potatoes, garlic. Some of our favorite pastas to keep on hand are brown rice penne and bow ties, as well as chickpea spirals and some shells for the kiddos. And then we also love to keep some rice ramen on hand. And bottom shelf is where we keep our canned goods. So things like beans and coconut milk. And we also keep some of our plant milk cartons on hand down there as well. We do try to buy in bulk and keep a lot of excess on hand. If you guys haven't already, definitely check out our vegan survival foods video where we go into how you can stock up in case of a food shortage. This is something super important we should all be paying attention to. So in the laundry room, we have some nice metal shelves where we keep a whole bunch of grains and beans in bulk, as well as our bananas and mangoes. So you guys know we buy our bananas by the case. The case is 40 pounds, so that's about 100 bananas. We need room for those puppies to ripen so we can freeze them. So we put a bunch of bananas in there and our mangoes that we just picked. All right, you guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this fridge and pantry tour. If you wanna see a full-blown kitchen tour where I keep my food styling stuff, pots and pans, all that kind of organizational stuff, I know some people are really into that, let me know in the comments below. Maybe we can give you guys a full-blown house tour and yard tour as we begin to progress. That would be fun as well. Let us know what you wanna see next time and be sure to check out Thrive Market. Like I said, if you click the link below in the description, you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift valued at $50. Until next time, eat, move, rest your best. We'll see you next week. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.